What's going on, Diego? This is Daniel from Josh and Danny SEO. So we're going to take a quick look around here, see what we got on your website, see if there's anything we can help with. So right off the bat, I like the logo. Call us today, and this is a click call, so good for you. You got your home services as a drop-down menu. Excellent. So I'm very happy about that. Although you may also do cabinet painting, so there's more that can go into this. There's the about review gallery and contact. So excellent, perfect top already. Barbell painting, serving on community over 15 years of experience. Get a quote. I like this. Uh, update photo file. Uh, you might want to have an option here that says, you know, what it is you want us to help us with. Expert and professional painting. Excellent. Proudly designed for you. Our services. Residential interior. Excellent. Oh, you also do commercial. Perfect. Okay, so only thing I'm going to say so far from what I'm understanding is you got all the right stuff on here, but you are missing content. Content is key when it comes to anything. So, uh, you know, Google's restricted on about 1,500, 2,000 words of content on your homepage, you know, so you can get all the proper stuff in there. But let's take a look at the back end so far. Um, that's the only thing I can really say I can hate you on. But um, this is a tool I use. It's called Ahrefs. It, it's basically an analytical tool that lets me know how Google is looking at you. So we got a UR rating of 8 and a DR rating of 0. 0.6. UR ratings are how strong your website is and a DR rating is how much Google trusts you. Now, all of it you want in the 30s and 40s with a ratio of 1 to 1. And it's you can increase it by backlinks. Now, a backlink is where you have your website link somewhere else where somebody can click on it, and a referring domain is when it does return to you. Um, think of backlinks, by the way, as your network, right? If you, you know, there's you, and you have your friends, and then, you know, friends of friends, and if you're all, like, good people, you know, you, you, you elevate each other, you talk about motivational stuff, you know, you all go to church, you know, you're going to be better off for it. If you're around toxic people, you know, then obviously it's going to hurt you the same way. So... Uh, kind of stick with people who, uh, well, stick with, uh, don't go with BuzzFeed, Wikipedia, stuff like that. Go for like painters blogs that really help you out. Now you do have 11 organic keywords. Now a keyword is what you might have on your website so that people can find you, right? It's like an association word game. So what are the ones you have? So you got painting barbell, that's your name. I'm not going to say to go for it because anyone in the world can search that. You got drywall repair, Ben Oregon. That's exactly what you want, right? Not only is this location specific, it's service specific. So anything like that is what you want. Um, painters Ben Oregon, excellent. 350 months searching for you. You're not getting anyone because you're on page number five. Painting a barbell. No, definitely not what you want ranked. Um, but if you but what you always want, and you're doing a pretty good job of it, you only have a couple of keywords though, is you definitely want like Ben Painting, great. 150 a month, you're getting zero because you're on page number eight. So you want those kind of keywords, ones that are location specific and ones that are service specific, because then you know they're in your area. So let's take a look over here. Obviously, there's not a lot of people in Bend. Otherwise, there would have been an... Oh, no, there is a GMB. This is just a weird layout. But Connecticut? That's weird. Even though it's Bend. Oregon. Whatever. Anyway, so when I put that in, by the way, a location-specific and, and a service-specific uh, combination of keywords is how we also create Google Ads. But as we scroll down, Yelp is, I guess, number one. But over here, we have your GMB, Google My Business Profile. That's this map over here. Very important to get in here. About 30 to 40% of all people who search for anything will click on one of these three guys. Very important to be in there. But then after that, we got our organic searches. And this is um, anyone can rank here as long as you have a decent website run. So we got 97 painting as the number one. And I don't know where they are. Let's find out just to make sure that we're both in the same area. They are in your area. Yes. So they don't really have a lot going on over here. They have a home about review. Uh, the good thing about a lot of small areas is that a lot of people think it's it's okay to just have a website. And it, it makes it a lot easier to, to beat them at the game of ranking. But they don't have a drop-down menu like you do, so I'm more impressed with you uh, because that means that they're, they're just throwing all of their services on one page, and that kind of gets in the way of Google. Um, view services, see our work, meet our team. So here's all the things I would have put inside of that drop down menu is interior exterior deck cabinet pre-finish and fine finish i mean if there's anything else that you know they would do i would probably have that in there uh bring your vision to life get perfect results hire with confidence and then who they the communities we work for that's great their number by the way is always click to call they have some these which is fine and then they have a new another uh footer over here with everything so that's excellent i mean yes they're missing content too they need a lot more content but they're doing pretty good. And why is that the case, right? They have a, th a 23 DR uh, uh, UR rating, so that they have a, sh a decently strong website, and they have a DR rating of 9. So, yeah, they can work on that one. 
Now they do have 71 backlinks. Now in the term of backlinks, I've seen a lot of companies have thousands. So 71 isn't a lot. They also do have 35 referring domains, but 56 are getting keywords. So what are those keywords that they're doing? So you see how most of them are going to be about um, the area. Oops, I did not mean to click on that. Let's go back. Come on. So all of these are location and service specific, which is exactly what you want, except for that one. Uh, Oregon painting, 150 people a month are showing. So they're not getting a lot of search volume, but this one they are. Painters Bend, Oregon. Uh, 350 people a month search for that. They're getting 38. When you're in positions one, two, and three, you'll typically get about 10 to 20%. They're getting a little over 10% over here, and they're in position number four for it. Uh, as you can see, Painters Bend, Oregon, they're getting 11 uh, out of 70 of them, which is obviously they're in position three. They're getting a little more than you know 10%. They're getting maybe about 20, right? Uh, 18. So how does this really help you out, Diego? Honestly, all you really got to do is figure out your content. You got some good organic keywords in there. There's definitely a lot more that you can choose from. The more content you have on your website, the more Google does look at you. And then obviously we need more backlinks and referring domains. So you want to beat out the competition? A good start is to find out exactly what 97 Painting has. Use theirs and then add an additional uh, like 50 or 100 on top of that. And you should start taking over the area without any much difficulty. Um, well, anyway, that's all I got. Uh, it's content. In the content, you need the keywords, and then after that, we need to rank, so we use backlinks. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me, Diego. Other than that, you have an amazing day, man.